Last time, Bible chapter Z, Richard chapter 44 of Genesis. The silver cup in the sack. At the end, not at the end. No, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But today we're looking at chapter 45. Joseph makes himself known. Then Joseph can no longer control himself before all his attendants, and he cried out, Make everyone leave my presence. So there was no more, there was no one with Joseph, and he made himself known to his brothers, and he wept so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's household heard about it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him. Because they were terrified at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now, do not be distressed, and do not be angry with yourself for sending me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of, sent me ahead of you. For two years now, there has been famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no ploughing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you, to prepare yourself for amendment on earth and to stay fat your lives by great deliverance. So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, Lord of the entire household and ruler of Egypt. And I hurry back to my father and say to him, This is what your son Joseph says. God has made me Lord of all of Egypt. Come down to me, don't delay. You shall live in the region of Goshen. And, and be near me, you, your children and grandchildren, your flocks and herds and all you have. I will provide for you here there, because five years of famine are still to come. Otherwise, you and your household and all who belong to you will become destitute. You can see for yourselves, and so came my brother Benjamin, that it is really I am speaking to you. Tell my father all about the honour a card carded me in Egypt, and about everything you have seen, and bring my father down here quickly. Then he threw his arms around his brother Benjamin and wept. And Benjamin embraced him, weeping, and he kissed all his brothers and wept all over them. Afterwards, his brothers talked with him. When the news reached Pharaoh's palace, the Joseph brothers had come. Pharaoh and his officials were pleased. Pharaoh said to do Joseph, "Tell your brothers, do this: load your animals and return to the land of Canaan." And bring your father and your families back to me. I will give you the best of the land in Egypt, you can, and you can enjoy the fat of the land. You will also instruct us to tell them, do this. Take some cares from Egypt for, for your children and your wives, and take your father and come. Never mind about your belongings, because the best of all Egypt will be yours. So the sons of Israel did this. Joseph gave them carts, as Pharaoh had commanded, and he also gave them pr provisions for the journey. To each of them he gave new clothing. To Benjamin, he gave 300 skirkles of silver and five sets of clothes. And this is what he said to his father. Ten donkeys loaded with the best things of Egypt. And ten female donkeys loaded with grain and bread and other provisions for his journey. Then he sent his brothers away. And as they were leaving, he said to them, Don't quarrel on the way. So they went out, out, out of Egypt and came to their father, Jacob, in the land of Canaan. They told him, Joseph is still alive. In fact, he is ruler of all Egypt. Jacob was stunned, and, and he, did not, he did not believe them. But when they told him everything Joseph said to them, and when he saw the cards Joseph had carried, sent to carry him back, the spirit of their father Jacob revived, and Israel said, I am convinced my son Joseph is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. Thank you all for listening. Thank